it's Faith. It has been a while since I've posted my last YouTube channel and a lot has changed since I've posted my YouTube channel. For starters, the lighting may look different in my rest of videos because I finally got a ring light and I love it so much. It's the best thing ever for TikTok videos, Instagram pictures, and everything. Plus, we're in So yeah, and I'm 17. My birthday was April 4th, like two days ago. And even though I was home, I still had fun. And I'm wearing my hair curly now. So this is like a fresh start for my channel because there's so many changes. But that is not the reason for this video today. As you can see by the title, I'm doing a skincare routine, like an updated version because I have all the time in the world to film YouTube videos, but honestly, I've been so consumed with TikTok that I forgot about YouTube, so I'm so sorry. But I will be posting because I have so much time now, or I'll link down below like my in-depth skincare routine and me like going to a dermatologist, the whole process. Um, if you want to see like more explanation, because in this video, I'm just showing you like my skin and a little bit of update so if you want to see like the beginning process of me going to the dermatologist i will have that video linked down below Same. so because we've been in for three weeks now or two i'm not sure now i've actually could not go to my dermatologist appointments because i was supposed to be getting like a chemical peel and that can't happen now but my skin has been doing very well so i'll insert some pictures of how my skin was looking from the beginning so yeah this is how my skin looks now it Definitely, I have not gotten an acne in so long. I would, I probably get like little bumps, and even if I get like a little pimple, that's nothing bad. It goes away the next day. So this is how it looks, and I have no makeup on. I only did my eyebrows, and then I have some individual lashes on. But sorry, because sorry, my face might get red because I'm touching it. But I have no makeup on the only problem not like a problem but the only change in my skin is i've always had oily skin but it's so oily now that i don't even have to moisturize anymore in the morning to at night like my whole what i do with my face throughout the day so this is the sulfacetamin sodium topical face wash that i use every single day this is the only face wash i've been using most of the things that i am showing were prescribed for me so the best bet is go to the dermatologist when you're able to and let them tell you how your skin is i explained all that in like my first video but yeah all of these were prescribed for me so you cannot like go to the store and ask for this or go to a pharmacy these um these products have to be prescribed for you 10% it says lotion but it's actually a face wash it's actually very clear and it doesn't even sud I do let this sit for like a minute so if I have any acne or anything that needs to really clean it can be clean I use this morning and night so it doesn't remove makeup so I will take my Neutrogena wipe and wipe off everything lips, nose, mascara, eyeshadow, all of that, and make sure it's really gone so this can really like cleanse my face. Okay, so when I use the Sulfacetamin face wash in the morning, I use the Clendamycin topical lotion, and this is 1%. So this is my morning cream in the morning, so in the day, if I'm Wearing makeup that day, all I have to do is just put sunscreen on and then I'll put my primer and then I'll do my makeup. So when it is the nighttime, again, I wash my face with the Sofa Cetamin face wash. In the night, I put on the Tretinoin cream and this is a 0.025%. So I just put this on the areas where I have the current acne. 
very small spare amount and I'll just put it on the acne. My last dermatologist visit before everything happened, um, he, my dermatologist told me to get this. These are treatment pads. So he told me that I needed glycolic acid 10%. I'm currently out of it really need to get this because this was the turning point of my discoloration this was the best thing that ever happened to my skin okay so this glycolic acid treatment pad i bought this it was not prescribed for me i bought this for 52 dollars and this is how it looks it says glycolic acid treatment pads gently exfoliate moisturize and assist in removal of oils and residue on the skin so what this really is is like another type of cleanse for your face it's like one of those little cotton pads but it's like soaked in like the glycolic acid and all that stuff um so what i do is after i wash my face usually i do this at night so it's like a better after i wash my face with the sofa cinnamon face wash i'll take one of these pads and just like gently go like that with them and mostly like on the discoloration of my skin because glycolic acid really helps like fade all those things and even your skin tone so i'll just take it and then rub it all over my face and where the discoloration is on my face and then after that i'll let it set in and then in the night i will put on the nighttime cream and my skin feels so healthy okay this is the eucerin daily protection sunscreen that i use you can get this at cvs or like walgreens or i think i don't know if target sells it but like you can get this anywhere basically and i use the like on the light side like that so it won't be like too greasy because sunscreen tendency has a tendency to like be really oily and grease on your face so i got the lighter one so that is basically it for today's video i just wanted to show you guys an update on my skin and everything with like my dermatologist visits and all that stuff yo i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click that bell down below so you're notified every time i post i hope everyone is being safe during these times i know it can get really scary my prayers go out to everyone and their safety and health i will see you in my next video all right bye